hello guys here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I am going to show you a very popular dish that is karahi chicken in a very simple way we are going to make this super delicious karahi chicken without curd and marination so let's see the recipe here I have put a vessel on induction but didn't turn on the heat yet I am adding 2 tablespoon of whole coriander seeds into the pan 1 tablespoon of whole cumin seeds 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds 10 to 12 black peppers 6 to 8 cloves 1 black cardamom 2 to 3 green cardamoms 2 inches of cinnamon some red chilies according to taste 2 bay leaves I will tear them into pieces and now I will turn on the heat and dry roast the whole spices until a nice roasted aroma comes from the spices. The heat should be on medium to low and now the spices are ready a nice roasted aroma is coming from the spices and I am taking them out into a bowl now we have to let them cool down and after that we have to grind them into a fine powder so keep them aside and now let's fry some onion in the same pan i'm adding some cooking oil here a little cooking oil and here i am adding one cup of finely sliced onion into the pan and now we have to fry the onion until nice transparent color we don't have to make them brown only we have to make them transparent you can see friends that the color is uh, about to be brown and nicely transparent now so let's take them out into a bowl here you can see the texture the color so let's take them out I'm not going to fry the other things such as the ginger, garlic, tomatoes etc. I'm going to blend them directly raw. So now let's keep the onion aside to cool down and go for the whole dry spices. Here our dry roasted spices are nicely cooled down. Now we have to take a mixer grinder. I'm taking a, a small mixer grinder jar and I have added the spices into the jar and now we will make a fine powder of them here you can see friends that i have made a fine powder of the spices let's take it out into a bowl and in the same jar we will blend the wet spices too so let's keep this powder aside and uh, we have to go for the onion We will take the same mixer jar here and I am adding the fried onion here. With the onion we will add some more spices. I am adding uh, some cashews and almonds here. You may take only cashews or only almonds here there is no problem. Here I am taking 2 inches of ginger, 8 to 10 cloves of garlic. 4 paprikas for a brighter color you may use paprika powder instead or uh, if not available you may skip it there is no problem I am adding it for a brighter color only so now I am covering the jar and running the mixer for a while without water and now here is the texture now we will add a little quantity of water and run the mixer again we will add water gradually don't add much water at a time so now our mixture is ready our spices paste is ready here as you can see now i am taking it out into a bowl and in the same jar i will blend some tomatoes i have taken the small mixer jar so i am blending the spices separately so now in the same mixer jar I am adding 2 tomatoes roughly chopped and I will run the mixer again and make a fine puree of tomatoes 
Now we do not need any water to make a fine puree. Here the puree is ready as you can see. I am taking this tomato puree into another bowl. And uh, I will add some water washing the mixer jar to avoid the wastage of the spices. So, now we are done. Keep them aside and let us go for the main process. Here I have taken the same pan and I am adding some cooking oil, a little cooking oil. And here I have chopped 2 medium size onions and 2 medium size capsicums as you can see into big pieces this way. Uh, now, we have to fry them. I have added them into the oil and I uh, will fry them until nice transparent color of the onions. Now, they are done as you can see. So, now I will take them out into a plate and I will use them later. Let us take them out. Let us keep them aside and go for the main process, go for the gravy processing. So, I am adding 1 spoon of oil and 1 spoon of ghee. Ghee means actually melted and fried butter. So, 1 tablespoon oil and 1 tablespoon ghee I have added. Let the oil heat a little and now we will add the spices puree here. We will add both the purees at the same time. And I will add some water washing the bowls. I will stir a little. So, at the same time I will add some salt according to taste. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder. And the roasted and grinded spices. We have to mix them properly very nicely. And after mixing, we will cook the spices with a lid until the spices are dry nicely. So, here you can see friends, the mixture is nicely dry and oil is not separated yet. So, now we have to add the malai that means cow milk cream. Here I have taken half cup of cow milk cream. I have stored it for 3 days from the cow milk from our home. Do not use frozen malai directly, it is in normal temperature. If yours is frozen then bring it to normal temperature first and then add it. Now I have added the malai into the spices. We have to stir it properly. The milk cream will thicken the gravy and separate ghee from itself as well and we will get a nice texture of this curry. After mixing very nicely, we will add the chicken too. Here I have taken half kg of chicken and washed them very nicely and drained the water very nicely after washing. Now we have to mix the chicken with the spices very nicely and after that we will cover the pan and cook them for uh, some time until the oil is released from the spices. Here after 2 to 3 minutes you can see friends that some water is released from the chicken pieces. So, we have to cook it for another several minutes with lid and uh, now the spices mixture is very nicely dry and very nicely oil is released from the spices from the milk cream actually. As you can see, I am stirring very nicely and now it is time to add the fried onion and capsicum here. So, let us add them and mix them very nicely. After mixing everything properly, we have to add water for gravy. Add hot water of course here, do not add cold or normal water. I have added uh, about 2 cups of water here. And 
and I am mixing it properly. I will add some water washing the milk cream bowl too because I actually do not like any wastage. So, I have added some water washing the milk cream bowl and now uh, I will add some kasuri methi, 1 teaspoon of roasted kasuri methi, roasted and crushed kasuri methi. Kasuri methi means sun dried fenugreek leaves and at the same time I will add some sugar here. I will add half teaspoon of sugar into this curry to balance the sourness of the tomatoes. You may skip this sugar if there is any uh, diabetes patient in your house, but if no such problems then add this quantity of sugar and you may notice the change in the taste of the curry. Now everything is mixed very nicely. So now we will cover the pan and cook for 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken is cooked very nicely. It will take uh, highly 15 minutes not more than that and uh, at the end of the process I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala and some fresh coriander leaves. Actually you may skip the garam masala there is no problem but try to add some fresh coriander leaves. And now I have mixed them properly and our curry is ready. Now we will turn off the heat and cover the pan for 10 to 15 minutes and after that we will serve it. You can see the texture friends, it is so bright in color and so tempting to look at. Now let us turn off the heat and cover the pan for 10 to 15 minutes, after that we will serve it. And now our karai chicken is ready to serve, so let us serve it. You have seen friends that the process is not so difficult to make. So try this simple recipe at home and do not forget to let me know about your experience. It has a royal delicious taste. It is very delicious to eat with any kind of Indian staple dish such as uh, boiled rice, naan, chapati, uh, roti, paratha, jeera rice, pulao rice etc. So try this easy way to make karai chicken and enjoy. Hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.